the building finally really opened a hundred years ago in 1916, and uh, was uh, was one of the finest opera houses east of Suez, as they would term it, and uh, is still uh, the only surviving opera house in in India today. When I walked in into the theatre for the first time, it was like walking into, you know, back in time because the theatre had been closed for almost 20 years. The first year and a half was really focused on the structural integrity, making sure that the jack arches were, were repaired, the roof was repaired. When I began my research and, and started looking at old photographs and old documents, uh, all those old documents uh, hinted at the building being a Baroque interior. Uh, our team was very clear that we want to retain as much of the historic fabric as we can. Flooring is all original Linton tiles. Well, there's a lot of foliate patterns. These are seen all over in the ceilings. They repeat in the gates and the metal railing. The decorative elements are quintessential to an opera and I think credit goes to the builders, Karaka and Brandman, who didn't cut corners when it came to the interiors. They used Italian Carrara marble for the ground floor flooring. They used Italian marble statuary. The chandeliers in the ground floor foyer were once hanging in the house of David Sassoon. We uh, referred to the catalogue which mentioned a lot of colours. It mentioned gold, it mentioned ivory and red and those were the colours that we pieced together. There is this, this ode to performing art. The front pediment has a whole frieze of musicians. The mural in the entry foyer has uh, Shakespeare and Byron and Keats and Shelley. The Opera House in Mumbai does capture the essence of that uh, decadent Baroque opera and uh, that's what has been our intention while we were restoring it. <laughs>